Welcome to Doing Business with a Servant's Heart podcast. Doing business in life with a purpose, serving others and achieving success. I'm your host, Steve Ramona. We created this show for you because we want everyone to be motivated, inspired, and educated by our guest to learn how to do business, and I think more importantly, live life to make an impact in the world. It could be a small impact or it could be a large impact, but just impact somebody or something today. So I want you to think about who you're going to serve today and what kind of impact are you going to create. We've got a very unique guest. I wasn't going to say unusual because <laughs> not unusual, but unique in a different way where she's helping in the healthcare industry and in the health itself. And patient care is so important. And she's definitely got a servant's heart. Dr. Dolores, welcome to the show. Well, thanks, Steve. It's a pleasure to be here. What does an RN and energy healer combination do to help conventional medicine? Well, you know, it's an interesting modality, but you have to understand that everything is energy, okay? Everything that we see is just a physical presentation of energy at a denser form. Our thoughts, our beliefs, our um, connectedness to ourself, our connectedness to um, our body, believe it or not, is all an energy. Those are the things that sometimes we can't physically witness, but it's there. It's like radio waves. And, you know, we, we talk about um, the body. The body is just one aspect of our healing. And it's like what we can see. Yet what is underneath the tip of the iceberg, okay, what you could see is the physical of the mm -hmm. tip, okay? Underneath is like all the unconscious and it may be some conscious stuff that's going on that we are not aware of that kind of contributes to the physical problem. So, you know, combining this aspect in healthcare, I think is key because historically, um, we have been thinking that the physical body is all there is. You know, you just take a pill, you do a procedure and you cut something out, sew them up and you know, they're on. But when ha what happens is like, yes, you may remove something, but how come it reoccurs someplace else? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like we never get to the core issue or the root cause of what is creating that physical problem. So I've been in the healthcare industry for well over 40 years, 45 years to be exact. Yes, I would I was um two years old when I started. <laughs> I <love it. laughs> um, but the thing what I'm saying is that I learned early on because I witnessed a miraculous healing of my father's physical condition when I was a teenager. So I was in the seventies at the time. And, you know, when you did non-traditional modalities of healing back in the seventies, it was considered quackery basically yeah. because they had no concept of it. And they thought Western medicine were, was the cat's meow and, you know, had all the answers. And it wasn't until that happened. And I witnessed the miracle that I changed my life trajectory from being a concert clarinetist to going into healthcare because I knew that it was my mission in this lifetime to bridge the physical with the spiritual and the invisible with the visible. So I went into healthcare and I'm a highly intuitive person. I was born that way. So I'm what we call an empath, intuitive and highly sensitive person. So I feel things very differently. I feel emotions. You tell so somebody like myself to ignore your emotions and you do that, it gets bigger because it is energy. It needs to be expressed. It needs to be experienced. Yeah. A lot of times in our, in our lives, we've been taught it's not okay to feel or suck it up buttercup. Yeah. No, that's the worst thing you could tell somebody. You should invite them to be with what they're feeling. As long as they don't project it onto you, just feel what you're feeling and experience that. Because once you take a step into that bubble of energy, okay, you're taking another step and you're on the other side of it and it neutralizes. The problem is, is that when we stuff that stuff, we partially experience it, that um, it gets stuck in our energy field. And guess what? Over time, you could only have so much of that in your energy field. And it's a tipping point that goes into the physical body. Yeah. This is where, you know, and I see this a lot with patients who have cancer. Okay for various reasons. It's just like, they there's a disconnect. There's some emotional thing that probably happened that triggered this like almost 18 mm -hmm. months prior to. And it is a wake up call for them to 
look at their life and what they're doing and maybe make some changes and heal some of the things that are underneath the tip of the iceberg. Right. And I love energy because mm -hmm. my life, and I'm going to validate what you're doing, Dr. Dolores, to the audience. I've changed my, and, and, and a service heart is energy, a positive energy that changes your universe. And it changed mine, like I was telling you earlier, by podcasting my uh, doing business with a servant's heart. Last year was my best year ever. And this year is going to be even bigger because I changed the energy. Yes. Mine was different because it's finances and networking, but it's the same idea, healthcare and medicine, right? It is, it is. And the thing is that the principles that are core mm -hmm. are for anything. And, you know, I, I find what is interesting too, you know, elaborating in what I do career wise, it's like, I also still practice as a nurse practitioner and my area of expertise is surgery. So I'm an assistant surgeon. So the last 30 years of my career, I've been an independent contractor assisting on surgical procedures with a physician, with a sur other surgeon. Mm -hmm. And so I witness a lot of things because even in an OR suite, lots of energy going on. You might have nine physical people there, physical bodies, okay? And what's happening in another dimension is mind boggling. And I get privy to see this because I could see it. Yeah. So there's more going on in healing then people have an idea or they could, they could wrap their mind about. And the thing is, it's like, you know, you know what you know what you know. And we are ahead of ourselves sometimes because here in third dimensional reality, it's very challenging to say that, oh, this is evidence-based. Well, you know what? Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue <laughs> when everybody said the world was flat and he proved them wrong. So my point is, is that a lot of times the concepts that we know, it's very um, interesting and challenging to uh, get anchored into reality here on earth because we don't have the technology to measure this stuff yet. Right. And if it's not measured, people don't understand it. Exactly. That's, and that's the big hiccup because I'm sorry, you know, I've been I've been playing in Western medicine and complementary for a very long time. We don't have all the answers, folks. We don't. Oh yeah, you just look at cancer. How far you've gone with cancer, and people were kind of a friend just reached out to me Monday. He got the clean bill of health after a year of third third st uh, stage three cancer. Thought he wasn't yeah. going to make it to this point in his life, and he is. Let's talk about the challenges of energy healing that you have, and maybe the client or patient has. Well, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with a person's mindset and mm. what they believe as well, because you know what, we're very creative and we are extreme manifestors. Okay. We are people think, Oh no, 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 no. it's like they become a victim or they give their power, that power away. That's your, your innate wisdom to something outside of themselves. We see this a lot in healthcare because they give their power away to you know, whatever the doctor tells them, which the doctor maybe only has known them for 10 minutes, you've lived in your Taj Mahal your whole entire life. So you, I would hope that you would have an idea of what this Taj Mahal can handle and not handle, you know? And so, and it's about honoring that within yourself and trusting that innate wisdom that you get, because this is your secret sauce for how like Dolores is going to move forward in her life or for Steve, how Steve is going to move forward in his life. It's unique to you and it's not going to be similar to anybody else's stuff. So don't look on the outside for the answer, come within and get those answers. So I teach people how to do that because that's where the disconnect is. They yeah. don't number one, trust themselves. They don't listen to that wisdom that they have. That's your intuition. We've all had stories where, you know, you had this hunch to do something and you ignored it and you wish you did, did do it, you know? So yeah. that's your intuition. It's sometimes it screams at you yeah. and you ignore it. <laughs> yeah. And decision-making, which I teach in business a lot, sounds mm -hmm. like this fits in as well, probably awareness as well, but decision, when you get that into it, like you just said, hey, I got an intuition. I need to meet Dr. Dolores, mm -hmm. go through with it. And if it's the wrong decision, you can always back out of there. I say, go through the door of opportunity. You can always walk back out. It's a door. It opens both ways. True. Same thing with energy healing. Sounds like make that decision to do the things you need to do, right? Right. And the other thing too, is I teach people, you know, if it's not a hell yes, don't do it. <laughs> no, seriously. Because sometimes, 
it's like if you're wishy-washy or definitely if it's a no, don't do it. But it's learning that discernment of if you're leaning in energetically, like something's pulling you to, you need, I invite you to go down that pathway because you're being led. And even though you're thinking you you pop out of your body and go into your head, you're analyzing the hell out of it. That's when you get out of the flow and that's when you get in your way. <laughs> no, that's so well said. <laughs> Because I say indecision is 10 times when it's not, not, is so much more times worse than making the wrong decision because you can always fix it. My intuition said, go here. Oh my God, I shouldn't have met with Dr. Dol Dolores or taken that medicine, whatever that was. You can back out again. I love that because nobody, I have a lot of energy healers on my show, not a lot, mm -hmm. but a few. This is cool because it really brings its simplicity, right? You got to make it simple. You do, because it, it. I know for me, less is more. And I know that for other people, I do my best to simplify it and give them really, you know, visual type of things that they know that they, they could see. And then it gets, it drives the, the, uh, the concept home. I'm not into all this fluff in like, you know, writing a dissertation to explain something because you just lose people after the first sentence. It's like, yeah. no, you know what? It's like, it's got to be practical, simple, so people can lean into it and do it. Audience, this is a smart lady, a smart doctor, because I'm going to give her credit <laughs> for a PhD. I hope you're taking notes because I am. How? What's the journey? Somebody becomes one of your clients. Can you walk us through that journey, what it looks like? Sure. You know, a lot of times I, it seems like people who are empaths, intuitives, and highly sensitive people have a tendency to be uh, clients of mine. Um, and that is because I kind of match that energy a little bit. So it's like, and plus I've kind of lived um, kind of what they're going through. So it's like, you know, you, you teach what you're, what you've lived pretty much. That's my philosophy. So people who are wanting to make a change in their life, whether or not they've had a health crisis, you know, maybe they're, they've hit their wall someplace on their path, mm -hmm. where what they had been doing up until that point had been working, but it's no longer working for them. Yeah. And, you know, I, so, you know, we work with them, we find out what's going on. One of my gifts is that I'm energetically able to tap into people as they talk and kind of see the energy of the thoughts, beliefs, um, connectedness to themselves and how they're, how they've been, um, where their blocks are energetically. So I work with them so they could learn how to unblock their blocks. So they get a tool set. So as they move forward, they could take care of themselves and have access to the ability to heal themselves. This is what my my goal is, is to empower them to take their personal power and their healing path. I will not do that for them. I teach them from day one, okay, what is your intuition telling you? Start listening to that. Start yeah. developing a relationship with yourself. So I also am putting together a course. It's called um, uh, Becoming Your Own Best Friend, Five Pillars to Self-Care. And that's going to be available probably in the next um, couple of weeks. But it's a five, um, a series of five lessons that, with a meditation in there. And it teaches people how to tap into those foundational pillars that are going to anchor them in to be able to have a, a great relationship with themselves. Yeah. You said a great word, two great words, self-healing and Taj Mahal. We've all heard that phrase, treat your body like a temple, because a temple is treated <laughs> with care and love. You got to do the same thing with your body. So I want to make a point of that. That's so powerful, audience. Treat your body like a Taj Mahal. And I'm going to use that. So I'm going to borrow that. <laughs> you may, Steve, you may. <laughs> it, it, it actually, so, it actually but, comes from a funny time because we just yeah. lived through the COVID thing. And I don't want to go down that rabbit hole of, you know, vaccine, non-vaccine. But for me... I chose not to be vaccinated because of my intuition telling me this was not the right thing for me. So I would have conversations with my fellow colleagues and, you know, and they were concerned. They said, you know what, don't you believe the science? And I said, listen, honey. And, you know, I could say that because I'm about 25 years older than him. I said, listen, darling, I said, I've lived in this Taj Mahal for over 60 years. 
I know what it can handle and I know what it can't handle. So, you know, I'm going to do what's right for me and end of conversation. But they respected that. You it's know well I'm said. Yeah. Because you said it's what's right for me. You're not judging anybody else. Right. That's what the messaging should be with all that. We, we, we won't get into Absolutely. it because it's, yeah, it's yeah, political, yeah. but it's it's, it's, so, it's what you, yeah. you know, and I did the same thing, made decisions. Again, made the decisions. Then we're like, yes, no, yes, no. Just make the decision, move on. Right. You know, unfortunately, some people did die from that. We won't get into that because uh, it's not well, what yeah, this is uh, all part. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's, a whole for different, another, that's for another show. Exactly. That's a whole <laughs> different story. <laughs> Well, and let's talk about healthcare. Let's go to the mental health side. It, it, it's oh, it's crazy. Yeah. You know, my yeah, wife works at Trader Joe's. Shout out to Trader Joe's. Love it. Yay, love Trader Joe's. But she still has, I think recently some lady came in a few weeks ago, still, with, you know, with a mask, which is okay. Yeah. But she hadn't been out of her house for three years. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. And I hear some stories of that. How does yeah. energy healing help with the mental health? Well, you know what? You know, this, I'm going to, kind of go down two little trajectories here. Yeah. You know, a lot of times people who have mental health issues, they're probably pretty sensitive, okay? Highly sensitive, yes. intuitive, and empathic. And they are so overwhelmed by society, they just don't know how to handle that because nobody's really taught them that, how to, how to, to work with that and maneuver through that. Because yes, Growing up as an empath, intuitive, and highly sensitive person, I thought I was going batshit crazy because I would feel things and I would have like 50 shades of emotion and I didn't know what the heck was going on because, you know, I didn't feel like this, but you walk through a hallway and you're feeling all these things and you thought they were yours and you, you know, I, so I get that. I think there's a component of that and it gets mislabeled as like some type of psychosis. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, and you see this a lot with young kids, too, who are on the spectrum, ADADH and all this other stuff. I think there's an aspect of that to that. Yes, I do believe that there's also problem. People go through stuff, you know. You go through events, and it's coping mechanisms as well. And some people are wired better to cope with things than others, and that's okay. But they need to get that support and learn tools maybe to assist them besides just talking it over ad nauseum. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes talking it over, guess what? You still are in the loop and you're still creating it because it's there in your loop and it's the law of attraction. And that's how energy works. Whatever you put your attention on, you're going to create more and more of it. And we're in a time and place right now where it's happening rapidly before the thought process is done. Yeah, that's great. And I love Think and Grow Rich, which I think has that, but has law of increase too. Yeah. Both two things that are missing you know, that have gone away in this world that need to come back for us to be healed as a world. Again, that's a incredible statement, but just how I feel. With uh, what you're doing, you want to get out there and tell me, because you're passionate. It just comes out of you. You're just flowing out of you. <laughs> so you started a TV show called The Dr. Dolores Show. Let's talk a little bit about that and what you try to do with the show. Well, you know what? Initially, when I started this, it was it was like December of 2022. Mm -hmm. And my um, idea, I went on, you know, uh, YouTube and, you know, FaceTime and all that other stuff. It was called Healing in Ways You Never Thought Possible because I really wanted to offer hope, transformation and possibilities for people who were really um, feeling compromised mentally, emotionally, physically, um, spiritually and dimensionally. So I was interviewing people from all over the world that had amazing healing stories from those different aspects. You know, some people heal themselves naturally from diseases that Western medicine pretty much blew them off. So I had about 35 episodes in this past July. I got put into Facebook jail and Google jail and YouTube jail. And I said, well, pound sand because I'm over this. So when I started the podcast, I said to the universe, I really want to make an impact on humanity and a lot of people. So I was playing small. So I decided, you know what, I'm getting upgraded. And so I had the opportunity to connect with some people that I had known in the previous six months. And I got introduced to Inspired Choices Network out of Canada. And so now I have, we've changed the format of the show. It's called the Dr. Dolores Show. And I talk about healing and pretty much empowering people to take the steps to get into healing with some some guests. 
And instead of going to 13 measly platforms, it broadcasts out now to 350 international. So Google and Facebook, you could go pound sand. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love your conviction. That's so powerful. And it's it's a lesson that we learn from people. Well, people the thing is, learn. it's like, you don't, you know what? I decided, yeah, I could have gone down the rabbit hole of, oh, you know what? It's like, oh, forget this. You know what? There's more things going on than them. You know, and so when you have the dis, you're not attached to it. You just keep moving forward because I knew I was being projected forward to where I needed to go. Yeah. So it's a big lesson, and you know what? There's lessons in everything that we experience. Sometimes we just have to take a deep breath, pull ourselves back, look at the bigger picture, be, not become reactive but proactive. Yeah. Powerful. Very powerful what you just said there. We're running out of a little bit of time here. We got a little bit of time left, excuse me. What is the future for Dr. Dolores show and your business? Well, you know what? I am looking forward to serving more people and really empowering people to step into their greatness and to their personal power and own it because it's about really loving yourself enough to put yourself First, it's about having the, the most intimate relationship that you could ever have with, with anybody with yourself, because let's face it, the longest relationship you're ever going to have in your life is the one you have with yourself. Yet, how many people beat the crap out of themselves? All day, every day. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we, we could, we'll, we'll probably have to do another <laughs> show because we could go another 25 minutes on that. You've said a lot of things, a lot of golden nuggets. I'm sure people run them out. If they haven't, how can they reach out to you and ask questions or, or get involved with you? Oh, absolutely. They could go to my website. It's drdoloresfazino.com. Or they could reach out to me at dolores at drdoloresfazino.com. I'd be happy to, to uh, answer questions or offer some insight if they they choose that or if you want to schedule time with me just reach out and let me know and i'll send you my calendar oh that sounds fantastic and i would suggest to do that i should reach you she'll answer your questions i mean there won't be any charge she wants to get to know you because somebody like her that's a servant heart because she said impact four times on this show don't hear that a lot if you're going to make an impact you need to meet people and to meet people, you need to reach out there. So please do that. I want to thank uh, Dr. Dolores. You were fantastic. I knew you would be after looking at your background. <laughs> I want to remind everybody my TV show, which is on E360 TV. That's 2 p.m. Pacific and 5 p.m. Eastern on Fridays live. And don't forget our podcast swag will be in the uh, show notes as well as all Dr. Dolores' information so you can reach out. And as I always say at the end of my show, please listen or watch this a number of times. Dr. Dolores gave you some information that could probably change your life or at least want you to reach out to her. Or you can help somebody else by sharing her with somebody else. Let's make that impact together. because That's the only way we're going to make that impact. And guess what? We're going to see you all at the next episode of Doing Business with a Servant's Heart. Thank you all.